Sí. We are gonna go do some shopping today in Soho. ALD is dropping some new stuff, so we're gonna be little groupies and wait in line. And I also am gonna get some matcha. Today is what day is today? Friday. Yes. Today is Friday. We're in our new hotel. This is the hotel on Rivington. In our view, it's stunning. So actually, it was a funny story because the first room that they tried to give us was not it. It was sus. It was sus. So I like made a complaint to their customer service front desk and requested a different room, especially because the pictures online were heavily, otherwise they would be catfishing us hella bad because the photos online showed like views of the city, lots of light, pretty modern bathroom. And the room that we got was just like small there's no view. So at the front desk, they were able to upgrade us and it was funny because we went to the front desk and the guy was like, we Googled you and we're able to find you and find out who you were. But it made me think like, if we weren't Googleable, would they treat us the same? Probably not. They would have been like, sorry, that's your room. But anyways, we're now happy with our room. We're gonna go out and do some shopping. to Raku for dinner earlier and we had some like udon soup and that place is so good especially we it was the first meal of the day and we ate at like 3 p.m so it was very good but we and i are actually packing to go to the vanderbilt and it's like a new tourist attraction that isn't open to the public we actually get to go to a creator preview so really excited about that but afterwards we're gonna go home with Alyssa and her boyfriend Marco, and we're gonna spend the night at her house and we're having a little game night, so that'll be really fun. A slumber party. A slumber party. But we are packing to go, so I'm kind of like packing a mini bag with my existing stuff.
tail. Is he gonna pee on you? <laughs> Sunday. It is currently 10.20 a.m. and I just woke up not that long ago. First of all, we spent the night at Alyssa's house and stayed up watching Squid Game and playing board games. And it was so much fun and I'm obsessed with Wade. Her dog is so cute. And then we, um, after spending like the entire, I guess, morning afternoon with them, we got dropped off back at our hotel and then I had dinner reservations for omakase with one of my friends Melody who you guys have probably seen in a previous LA vlog but her and her husband Bru and I adore them and love hanging out with them so we got kasaki again we went back because the sushi is that good and between domo domo and kasaki I think I definitely like kasaki more it's definitely a little bit more expensive but I feel like you get such amazing quality and the ambiance of the restaurant is so fun and we ended up drinking so i'm moving a little bit slow today i'm trying to get some work done because today i'm actually going to meet one of my like instagram friends and we're going over to her place to shoot some stuff um i also have to do a nail campaign somehow I have to paint my own nails and make it look nice but i am excited because there's a lot of colors <gasps> I don't know. It's a mystery box. Ah! Whoa. Our hotel provides us with breakfast, but Brandon said it's plebby. I think that, that's a good word to describe it. OPI campaign and this red is actually so pretty I did both hands like kind of a different red this one's more like a deeper red and this one's more sparkly and they like it because I'm honestly not that good at painting my nails so I just found some TikToks for them and I'm gonna edit them but today is Sunday honestly woke up a little bit slow because Brent and I were drinking last night with Melody and Owen and it was just a lot today it was kind of a slower day didn't really do much and it was pouring rain today so kind of miserable outside and cold and when we got home we took a little nap and didn't really feel like doing a whole lot but it was nice that we can alternate between having like busy days and slower days and since we're here for so long these days don't really feel like a waste you know what i mean we have dinner reservations later but i will see you guys later <laughs> some outfits because we are going to shoot some of them today. Mr. Photographer, Brent and I just shot like what? Three looks? Mm -hmm. In the span of Two hours. 
Lots of good stuff coming soon. Yeah, look at the building in the background, so pretty. But today we figured since we wanted to bring the camera out and since this is such like a heavy, it's like a commitment to this, yeah. We figured let's just shoot a couple of looks so then the next few days we can kind of just hang out maybe throw a couple iphone flicks in there but have yeah. some really nice camera photos like interspersed in the feed yeah so. and they're sh they came out so good and we, like should we give them a preview this is the outfit we just shot yeah. it oh my god these Oof. oh cannot wait for you guys to see okay that's it <laughs> Good morning. Doing my skincare routine. It is 11:15. I got up about an hour ago and kind of just did a little bit of work in bed. And I <clears throat> only brought two cleansers with me, two of my faves. But I got back into cleansing for a full minute recently. I've been getting a little bit lazy. I feel like my skin was suffering, so I have a couple. Of Anyways, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, I feel like my skin was kind of suffering a little bit, especially with how much like crap and cheese we've been eating. So I got back into cleansing for a full minute and really just like taking all the time to work a cleanser in and like you can feel my face getting like really, really warm because I was just working it in so much. And now I feel like we get a good deep clean i also learned a while ago i don't remember where i saw it but if you leave your cleanser on your face it can be kind of like a flash mask so if you have like a deep clean pore purging cleanser you can leave that on your skin and it'll you get those same benefits in like a five minute mask that you can easily rinse off so i've been doing that a lot lately too and i feel like that has been helping so today i was just like craving pizza so we're gonna go get that at the place that we want to go to what's the name of the place what's the name of the place here? i think it's called scars scars pizza in new york or jersey city in new york, in new york. so we're gonna go there but they don't open until noon so it's perfect because woke up a little bit later than expected and just moving kind of slow today i don't know why Rachel also gets into town today, so I'm really excited. She's actually here for work, but I normally see her like back in LA. I feel like I see her once or twice a week. So it's been a while since I've seen her, like eight days. I'm excited to see her. She, she'll she be staying at her own hotel um, and she, she is working. I probably won't see her until like evening or something. And then next week, Christine Glosshouse, who does my nails, is also coming. And then the week after that, my mom and my sister just booked tickets so they're coming too. So I'm really excited. But anyways, I'm gonna go get ready. I'll see you later. That looks so good. Okay, have a slice, bub. Mm. See it. Yum. That's a big slice. Mm. Hello friends, so Brian and I just got back and we shot some photos for Abercrombie and some of the outfits were so cute but there's a lot, like this whole bed is covered in clothes from Athleta and Abercrombie and I don't know how we're gonna bring everything back. Whoa, there's so many more clothes I did not see. Today, Brandon and I are going to the Broadway show, my first Broadway show, Brandon has been, but I have not, so I'm actually really excited. These are all the clothes, by the way. We also need to figure out a way to do laundry at some point. Also, Bray and I are setting up a class pass membership, which I'm actually excited for because if you guys don't know what class pass is, it pretty much is like, I don't want to say Groupon, but kind of like a workout. And every month you get a certain number of credits and you can use these credits at like participating studios. You can even get like massages and facials with it. You could get into a gym or do like boxing or, or Pilates or whatever. So. Um, I just signed up for an account and I'm actually going to be working with them, but that that will allow me and Brandon to work out at some of the studios around here 
I'm gonna go boxing with Alyssa and one of her friends, so I'm actually excited for that. Ooh, what if I wore this for dinner? Would this be too fancy? Anyways, I'm gonna do some cleaning, organizing, and we'll see you guys right before we head to the opera. I mean, what? Broadway. Probably see you at dinner, actually. <laughs> Too late for some midnight slices. You sure you don't want one, hun? So I just got off a little workshop call with Sephora. It was four hours long and literally right up until the call, I was filming a big haul. So this is the end product. All the clothes I neatly folded and put away is now a mess again. I'm meeting the four team for some drinks and dinner and I'm actually really excited because I'm really close with the four team. I love working with them and they're kind of like a marketing agency if you're unfamiliar, but they're based in New York, so the last time I saw them was literally March 2019, the last time I was here in New York, right before everything shut down. And when Brand and I were here a couple of months back, I think that was like two months ago now, we wanted to do all the touristy things, so we didn't really have time to see all the brands and New York friends I had, so I'm excited to be able to do that. But that would be fun if you guys helped me pick my outfit. So this is actually a little athleta outfit. This is part of like my haul, but I'm gonna obviously change into some drink, dinner appropriate clothes. I think it's I think it's gonna be pretty cold as well. So let's pick an outfit. So for the outfit, I feel like I wanna wear these dress pants just because they're stylish. They go with everything and I don't want to wear ripped jeans and the only jeans I brought are ripped. I was going to layer a sweater vest on top of this button up that I have. I feel like the look is very, very cute and trendy right now. And it's practical because it's going to be cold later so it'll be nice to have a long sleeve underneath. But I can't decide what sweater vest I want to wear. I have two that are new and super cute. So I have this one here from Oakenford that is super cute. And then I also have this vest here from Abercrombie. Okay, this one is kind of cute too. It's kind of preppy because of like the pattern. It kind of has like a, can't think of words. I've been talking for too long today, but I feel like the stripe detail is very cute. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like it's giving me like school teacher vibes. And then I paired it with docs and I feel like it's, too much. Okay, I ended up deciding that maybe ripped jeans are fine because I'm coming around 6 p.m. So people are gonna be off. So it'll be more of a casual, like happy hour thing. I, I like this so much better. I feel like this is cuter. So anyways, this is the outfit. I'm gonna run out. I'll see you guys later. been a full week since I have been vlogging. Our next place is actually going to be our apartment so I'm actually really excited for that because we have a lot of laundry that we need to do. Both Brandon and I were excited to have a kitchen. I'm excited to be able to make my own matcha and like go grocery shop and make food at home but then also go out to dinner if we want. I also have some friends that are coming into town. My mom and my sister are my coming and then also my girlfriend Christine and we potentially might change up our nails so I'm really excited for that. Also moment of appreciation for these lashes because I've had them now for over a week and I'm really really rough with my lashes so I never expect them to last 
like super long. I use makeup, oil, cleansers, and skincare with oil and everything. I'm really bad. So I'm really impressed that they lasted so long because the last few lashes I've gotten didn't even last me a week and these still look really really good so really impressed i went to pure lash ny and i'm probably gonna see her again probably next week or something like that we'll see how long i last with these but super exciting news brand and i just booked tickets to paris and this is a trip that we've been talking about since like july since we wanted to do this new york trip just because People in the Pacific Northwest, people on like the West Coast kind of go to Hawaii as like the tropical vacation. And then I feel like people here on the East Coast go to Europe. And so we, Brandon has never been to Europe. I've been a couple of times when I was younger with my family. So this is gonna be our first time, this is gonna be our first time together. And Brandon's obviously first time. And we have a lot of friends have been to Paris. Alyssa's obsessed with Paris. My girlfriend Melody is from Paris and so a lot of people have so many recommendations So we're really excited for that trip and with that I think I'll bring this weekly vlog to a close I am doing a weekly vlog every single week that I am in New York So if you haven't seen the last one, I'll link it up in the corner But this is kind of a new series to kind of show you guys everything that we've been up to all the food We've been eating all the things that we've been doing and at the end of this, I think I'll probably do like a New York City roundup, probably like a top 10, like the one that I did for Seattle. And then when we get back to LA and kind of get settled, I think I'll probably do an LA top 10 as well. And that will be rounded up all in a blog post. So if you guys like want everything concise in one place that you can easily just refer back to, that will be super easy for you. And then I think I'm going to compile an Excel spreadsheet with all of your guys' recommendations and if I try any of the places, I'll like put my own review and rating on there if that's helpful. So really excited for that. I'm really glad you guys are coming along with me on this journey because Brian and I are having so much fun and obviously without your support would not be able to come to New York for a full month. So really is a huge blessing and I'm really grateful that we're able to do this and we've been having so much fun. I feel like I wake up every day feeling so refreshed and energized and motivated to work and it's nice that we're here for so long and able to see so many friends eat so much good food so yeah last night i had drinks with the four team and that was amazing i love Susanna, who it's a gal that i've known now for almost three years and we are going to plan a little double date with her mans and brandon so that'll be really fun so i'm excited for that i'm excited to plan out paris a little bit more with you guys we're still looking into hotels and stuff like that but once we figure out like kind of an idea of what we want to do we'll definitely let you guys know maybe we'll talk about that in the next vlog but that is all for this week's vlog i hope you guys have been enjoying the vlog so far make sure you follow me on instagram and tiktok i recently had a viral tiktok that i did with Alyssa that is so funny but definitely check out there if you want to see more up-to-date kind of things that i'm doing real time because i'm super active on there obviously so anyways enough chatting thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next vlog bye